Yes, please. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. one. Um, hi, friends. Um, happy new year. It is 2023. 2022 who? But I missed you. I haven't picked up my camera in like a while. Um, the last time I posted a video on YouTube was my cruise video with my fam bam um so yeah it's been some time but we're back and we're coming back with you know the heat oh so i am excited for that um since i've been gone and kelly clarkson's voice i have I haven't really been doing too much. I've been planning this event that I am hosting on Saturday. It's called um, F the Algorithm, and it's for content creators in New York. Mm. Um, so I've been hosting that. Hosting that. I've been, I've been trying to figure out logistics and planning that for the past couple of months, which has been very, very hectic. But people are really excited about it. And so for me, I just, I am excited. I just need to figure out an outfit. Hello, y'all. So it's later in the day. One, let me start by saying I dropped my camera. It was later in the day. Let me show you. I went to, one, went to Target. That was success, a success. And then went to... And then went to, um, what is that? The mall. And let me show y'all what I got. First, I got, I went to Forever 21. One, okay. I originally went to Charlotte Russe thinking I could find like, yes, Jersey still has Charlotte Russe's, which is, blows my mind. Cause I thought they went out of stock, but they didn't have a pink shirt. And then I went to like one of the little, little like random stores. They didn't have a pink shirt. And then I went to Forever 21 looking for a pink shirt. I didn't I didn't get a pink shirt from there but I got these shorts for in the house because I like to be in the house and you know this is what I wear in the house and it's pretty comfortable and it's like this rib knit material it's I got it in a medium large and I was like $14.99 what's it called legging biker shorts there you go um so I got that because I need new shorts or more like loungewear to wear in the house and then i also got this shirt which was very random but i got this like muscle looking t-shirt at the top um i thought it was cute i tried it on with some jeans and i can do a lot with it so i got that and then i got these pants now why i got these pants i don't know camera stay okay so i got these pants they are so cute but i don't necessarily need them i tried them on they do look great i'm just contemplating if i'm gonna keep them or not i might keep them because when i tried them on they looked great and they would be really nice to wear for where i'm going on my destiny on my birthday destination but nonetheless that is pending okay so this is let's look a look this is what we're working with right ah okay so this originally i thought this pink was the same color as this pink i don't really know it's kind of throwing me off that it's like three different shades of pink the turtleneck i don't mind because my hijab will cover it so i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear and I was on the phone with my aunt talking about it. And my aunt was like, you know, you look good regardless. And I really appreciate, you know, the feedback. Because someone else has also told me that when I said I was trying to figure out my outfit. And they were like, oh, you look good regardless. Like, you put cute outfits together. But I'm currently struggling. Like, there's always a struggle behind every outfit. And I don't even think all of my outfits eat. That's the thing. I think I wear, like, simple, basic outfits. I'm not about to toot my own horn. I put a black shirt and a black skirt together, put on some red lipstick and call it a day. It's pretty basic. So I'm trying not to be basic for this event. So I'm trying to get it together. 
Hello beautiful people. Today is Friday and we are one day away from the event. The event is tomorrow. Um, so I am currently working from home. I did initially go into the office today, but you know, I 2023, it's very much giving. I'm protecting my peace. And once I feel like, you know, that is being tested, I am going to remove myself. So I am home today uh, for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to do some things for the event. I need to figure out, and we'll go through it later, but I need to figure out if I'm going to do a giveaway or not for the event tomorrow. I have all this, like, PR and stuff from, like, Kiss, but it's, like, it's too much. I'm going to do a giveaway on my channel once I hit a 1,000. We're almost there, but... You know, I want to do something for this event. My cousin suggested it, and at first I was kind of like, eh, but it might be cute. It might be cute. So let me finish the rest of the workday, and then I'm going to rejoin the vlog. All right, so we are back. My glasses look so dirty. Um, I'm going to have to fix that. But I'm about to go through these boxes of stuff. You know, I have a lot of stuff. Kiss sends me... PR package or packages every month. They're PR packages. Um, and I will link, I will put the kiss link in the description box of the things. Um, I don't really talk too much about it, but they've sent me so much stuff. And I love kiss because I love their press-ons and I love their falscara. Now, this lash, and excuse, excuse how it looks because i tried to put it on but i have to reteach myself how to put on lashes but these lashes well, just look at this one these this lash from meredith i'm not too sure who meredith is but they sent like a lot of her she must have did like a collab with kiss and they sent like some really cute lashes like these are really cute and i think these are cute as well so use the link at the bottom to shop i don't unfortunately i don't have a discount code for kiss but if i did i will share it with you all um they sent me like a lot of glue i'm excited to try this glue this is the this light is too bright hold on hold on see but now you can't see Okay, well, this is like the eyeliner glue. I want to use this, but I just feel like I have used Foscara so much that I no longer know how to use strip lashes. But I'm going to teach myself this year. If you had to get anything from Kiss, it would definitely be the Foscara. They even sent me this, which I honestly think that I might give away. So I think this would be cute. But I just don't know if I want to give away for my actual giveaway for my YouTube channel or for the event. I think this might be for y'all. So this might be a part of the giveaway for when I hit 1K on YouTube. So tell a friend and tell a friend to subscribe because baby's just going to be sitting here. we're in the in the tunnel and the traffic is flowing i'm gonna say that low because like i feel traffic coming see 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 but i'm on my way i'm gonna show you all the outfit i'm literally zipped into this corset <sighs> it's cutting off my circulation um we're running a little behind but it's fine 
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I need some french fries or something. I don't know. How are you feeling, Shante? Glad to be at the end of that whole process. <laughs> great. We gonna, we, listen, we're gonna do a nice little recap yes. after this is done. Oh my God, it says my battery's dying. This is why you buy extra. Sorry, KJ. Hey. It's a chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> From where? 81st Deli. <laughs> All right, say hi to Mike. Hi. <laughs> what are we doing? Being her reference. <laughs> he said, you knew it was wrong, but I really wanted to do her reference shit with my her reference. Oh, uh, we're not here right now. We're going to we're going to Spirit Bar and a restaurant to smoke the hooks. To smoke the hooks, it's cold. Y'all, look at Ty. I got it from my mama. <laughs> Long hair, but she my paper's done, so I'ma make it done. Hey! Which was Yeah. Beach. Come here, Pete. Uh-huh. Corners in the paddock, get my piece. Oh, Bishop Pete. Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot of puffs, right? Drop the dot and never plant inside the piece. She's not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian for peace. Okay, y'all. So I'm on my way home from a good night. Okay. And there's a car accident happening in front of me. So I've been kind of like sitting here. But these guys, these two guys, hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in. Because the, the cop car lights is so lot, like, so big. But these two guys um they got out of their car they're parked like far behind me yeah like let me show y'all this is what the this is what it's looking like outside my window outside like in the mirror or whatever these two guys got out of the car and walked up to the scene like they were gonna do something y'all are not gonna rush the cops no faster to get here i literally put my car in park because like there's no way and then there's people like beeping like crazy and I'm just like you can't rush a car accident but it's not giving wow my makeup still looks really good and oh my god oh my god they're coming back they're coming back yo hold on oh my god they talking to somebody in the car this is juicy tea oh my god look 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 look, look. y'all see him Oh my God, I can't even see him. Look, look, look. y'all see him? Like, where is he going? Where is he going? <laughs> Yo, people here are crazy. Oh my God, oh my God, they both walking back. Are they fighting? Oh no, 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 they talking. But why are you pushing him like that? I don't know. I'm staying vigilant. I'm not gonna lie though. When they were walking up, I definitely locked my doors because I didn't know what was happening and I also forgot to lock them. It's them joking on I-9. <sighs> Ghetto. 
Oh my God, it's moving, it's moving. All right, I gotta talk to y'all later. We'll talk tomorrow. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing. Don't say I didn't put y'all on to anything. This right here takes off any and everything makeup wise on your face without a makeup wipe. Y'all, it's Sunday. I literally, Lord have mercy. Um, so my cousin and I, we went to Target today. We went to brunch at Tops, uh, Tops Diner in Harrison, New Jersey. Um, it was Chef's Kiss, like so good. So shout out to my friend Jihad for putting me on. Um, yo, I'm still thinking about the food, like. <laughs> I still think about the food the food was so good but um just wanted to come on here and give you guys a recap so yesterday's event went way better than i could have expected um there were so many people that came and i got so many great feedback and everyone was just so thankful and you know i may or may not have shed a little tear yesterday when i was by myself in the car but um no it just was really like i don't know it feels good to see something that you work so hard for like come to life i'm glad the event came out really well because the process baby was not it i feel like um the liaison that i had for the event was just not I'm very type A when it comes to like planning stuff. Um, so I I have learned over the past like a year and some change to like go with the flow. But like when I'm planning something, I'm very like type A itinerary, like that's my jam. Um, and so I was, I guess because I had thought of the idea. So let me, let me just backtrack. So the company that sponsored the party, they reached out to me to throw a party. Um, they wanted me to like throw a Halloween party initially, but like I don't cel celebrate Halloween and I'm not just going to put my name on something that I don't cel celebrate, like let's be for real. So they then were like, oh, you can throw whatever party you want it. And I kind of just was like, okay, like what do I want? And at the time... It was like a wave, like my For You page was all like black content creators that were like, you know, we need to support each other and there's enough room for all of us and I don't understand why this is that, blah, 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 whatever. And I feel like we all talk about the same thing. Like we're always like, oh, um, <clears throat> we're always like, oh, like we all feel the same and everyone's saying the same thing and everyone's in the comments like, amen yada 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 blah 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 and i was like we don't ever put action towards it so i went to my cousin who was actually a very like influential part of the process for me and she was a sounding board she knows who she is um i will tag her below if for anyone that was at the party and saw her she was like taking pictures she's the one that walked up to you guys and my kid with my camera and asked you to, to either wave or um she interviewed you or anything i went through the clips and i was cracking up like especially at my friends because they just so awkward like they just was like um okay but she was very influential so i talked to her about the idea that i wanted to do and she was like, you know, I think that'd be a great idea, blah, blah, blah. So we're like going back and forth and we're talking. Um, and then she was like, oh, like you should just name it after algorithm. And I was like, oh my God, I love that so much. Blah, 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 blah. So I went back to the liaison for the company that sponsored the event. I went back to the liaison and told them my idea. And they were on board and they were on board, but I don't think they fully understood the event. 
Um, I think they were thinking more like party and not like networking. So, you know, it took a lot of explaining and, you know, sharing the point of view that as a black content creator or influencer that I have. So went through all that, whatever. Was very nervous about the title because I was like, ooh, don't know how they're going to feel about it. But they were on board with the title, which was Chef's Kiss. And um, from there... It kind of went it was like a roller coaster i was going i'm not gonna say it went downhill but it was like a roller coaster they reached out to me in october i i originally started brainstorming planning and stuff october because i know i'm gonna do something i want to take my time and make sure things are right they don't think that way and it was put together very last minute like on their end and for me, I didn't like that. I don't like to work like that. And I, there were even times like I sent emails like, this is very stressful. Like, this is a lot. There's a lot of miscommunication. I'm not understanding. And for me, it wasn't full transparency on their end about certain things. And so I had picked an event space originally, which was not the glass ceiling. Picked an event space. The event space was confirmed. And then... I made a flyer and everything for it, put the event space, and then later was told that I couldn't have my event there, even though it was already confirmed in the email. I couldn't have my event space, my event there because the time they don't open, they're not gonna be open at the time that I want to have my event. So I'm like, you know, why wasn't this told to me? How could you confirm an event space? But like, whatever. So I did we switched it and then so originally we were gonna have it at the high water rooftop which i think is a very beautiful space like it's so 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 nice but it's like not it doesn't give that real like community feel like because there are like two different sections on one floor then there's an upstairs on a rooftop i think it's super cute for like a summer event and maybe maybe i'll consider it but it just was too much for me to host and like be everywhere at once um for my first event so i was just like it's a no-go for me because at that point there were no other options and y'all this was in december we started planning in october not even planning we confirmed like all right this is what we're gonna do like this is what i want to do they were on board with it whatever october you're telling me in december that i now have to figure out a whole new location be for real and it wasn't even december like December 1st it was like right before the holidays December so I was pissed I was so pissed <laughs> then they were like oh like there's this venue space blah 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 we've never worked with them but we're interested in yada 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 whatever whatever and I had looked them up on Instagram because at that time I didn't have time to go see the space so I had looked them up on Instagram. I saw some TikToks and I was like, all right, cool. Like this place looks very aesthetically pleasing. Cool, I will pick this over the high water. Then I was like, oh, like, can we get a DJ? They're like, yep, you can get a DJ, whatever. So then there was like, I preferably wanted a black DJ because the DJ, <laughs> the event is for black and brown content creators. I think the DJ should be black or brown. And so they were, and I was very specific. Like I wanted hip hop, R&B, Afrobeat, Soka. Like I wanted all of that. Like I wanted it to be our vibe. And so they were, the liaison was like, oh, like the only DJ I was able to find, like he's white, is that fine? At that point, I kind of just was like, what the heck? So I had emailed back like, I know DJs, like what's the budget? So I can start reaching out to people because <sighs> you're stressing me out at this point. And so um, they gave the budget and it wasn't even worth like reaching out to anyone I know. Like I would never reach out to anyone I know with that low of a budget. Like I know that they charge more and they're worth more. And even though I have friends that are DJs I would never like I would never do that like that's their business like I'm never gonna be like oh like, let me shortchange you or just you know whatever I was like you know what at the end of the day that's fine but I like urge like yo they need like he needs to play the music I I want to hear the music that I said and so then he he was like all right confirm the DJ yada 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 right like maybe like three three or four days before the event or whatever um the liaison told uh told me that we weren't gonna have a dj because the space did not have after y'all after he confirmed 
the DJ. The liaison was like, oh, like you can't have a DJ because of the space. Like there's no space for a DJ. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Now, after already being in the space, I understand why there's no space for a DJ. I totally understand. However, do not confirm things when they're not confirmed. Like, I just don't understand. However, being the type A person I was, I had already started a playlist. Because I, in my head, I was like, if this man does not play the music that I want to play, I'm going to send him this playlist and he's going to scratch the beats or whatever and figure it out. <sighs> I feel like I can keep going on and on and on and on again. However, at this point, I just feel like I'm at the space where I'm just like, it was such a great event. And I'm happy how everything turned out. But the planning process, I was not a fan of. Like, I was really ready to call it quits like three or four times because it just, it literally made no sense as to why it was so difficult to get this event like planned. I just don't understand. Like, in the day of, the day of, I went to Party City to pick up my balloons. Y'all know the FTA balloons that was there? They were like this big, y'all. What am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, So, if you're watching this and you went to the event, thank you. Um, This video is gonna be posted on Wednesday. However, we are going back to our regular scheduled program of Wednesday and Sunday. Sundays will always be vlogs and Wednesdays will be a mixture of different content. I hope you guys like this video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye friends.